Hello, Libra viewers. So last reading I did for you guys, I got that there was some financial instability either with you or your person. Might have been like somebody either trying to control you with money, like somebody that was like giving you money or trying to control you with money, or somebody that was like depending on you for money, but there was just something regarding money in your relationship. Um, and there was this pattern that you guys needed to break with like kind of leechy and controlling men. Um, from the last video I got. So let's see where that, because there was just, there was just this leechy energy last, last reading I did for you guys. So let's see where we're at now. Let's see what's going on. So Libra viewers, what is going on in your relationship with your person? What do we need to know here? What's going on with that relationship? Your connection could be a twin flame, soulmate, past person, current person, new person. I think new love might be coming in. Okay. Six of Pentacles. So, so getting more financially stable. Or maybe cutting this person out and not letting them take your money anymore for some of you. Um, or just making your own money, whatever it might be. There's just some more financial stability. You've got the Two of Wands, King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the Moon, the Five of Cups, the Tower. Okay. So this is good. This is this is good. This is like a purging process. I think you're letting go of this person or this energy that's been holding you back. I think you're letting it go now. And I think you're going to have somebody new coming in. I'll look into the new person after I um, do this reading. I'll pull some cards and see what I can get from this new person. I almost feel like somebody, it's like almost like this new energy, like this new just new love, new career, new abundance, new energy is like waiting to come into your life, but it's kind of been blocked out by this stagnant energy that you've been in. And you're getting out of that now and it's going to, you know, it's, the tower is going to come in and shake everything up, but it's going to be in a good way. You know what I mean? Like you're going to, I don't think that you're going to be upset by it necessarily. I think you're going to realize that these changes were long coming, you know? It's like this this mermaid is is letting go of this. She's letting that ship sail away. She knows it's time for it to sail away. She's not worried about it. She's she's using her intuition. Um, I remember the last reading I got, there was like this man that was kind of insecure too about like his finances. Like he's either working too much or not working enough and he was feeling insecure about it. With the Six of Pentacles though, whatever those financial difficulties are, you're coming out of it now. You're going to have more wealth um, coming in, I feel like a new job coming in or a new career, or if this person has been using you for money, I think you're about to, to kick them to the curb. I think you're getting it ready to just, you know, tell them to screw off. Um, or if you've been relying on somebody else for money, but they're kind of like using it against you and trying to control you with it or trying to like, there's just something with finances with your relationship. So it's could, it could be like, they're trying to like, oh, I bought this and this and this, so I get to do this. And you're, you're not having it anymore. You're, you're coming into financial stability and independence. And however this plays out, you're just cutting out the people that were um, preventing you from being in that energy. The people that were either using you for money or trying to control you with money, you're cutting them out now. And you're 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 independent and strong financially. You're coming into that energy, and you're you're looking at things in like a long term approach. You're um, you know looking to the future and trying to figure out how you can be the most stable and. I almost feel like this is like the relationship that was kind of dead that like you were looking at and it was draining all your money. You know, this king of swords, this like logical, practical man who like, it's almost, I almost get the energy of like a man who's got a huge ego, like a narcissistic kind of man who like has a lot of pride, but he doesn't have anything to be proud of. You know, it's like a really unstable man who does not have his shit together at all. And he's coming off like the King of Swords and he can't own that. He's not the King of Swords. He's like a little, he's like the minor arcana kind of cards. He's not a King of Swords. He's not, he's not all that. He's not the shit, but he thinks that he's insecure. And so he tries to pretend like he's the shit and like he's got his life together and, and he's so knowledgeable and wise and everything's, people look up to him and he's great and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, he's got a lot of pride, but he doesn't have anything to be proud of. 
And I think that he is just, it's a little boy pretending to be a real man is what I get. It's a little boy pretending to be a real man. It's not a real man though. And you know that, you know that, you know, the situation's dead. You know, you don't want that shit anymore. You know that you want to find your real king of swords or your real king of cups would be better. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's kind of like you you did work hard and you bled for this relationship, I think, for a while. But it's not worth it. You're over it. I think for the most part, the Seven of Pentacles is actually referring to you. Like, you worked too hard for yourself. You worked too hard for your financial stability. You worked too hard for your career and your self-confidence and self-worth and your friendships and just all the things in your life that you love. You worked way too hard to give all that up for this little boy over here or little girl, however that plays out for you. Um, you just, you bled hard. You, you went through a lot. You went through hell and back for everything that you have. You earned everything that you have time and time again. And you're not going to get depressed or let some, some stupid guy that's not worth it take that from you and, and drag you down. You know, this was like a dead weight. It was weighing you down. You weren't yourself with this this energy, this relationship. They weren't bringing out the best in you. They were bringing out the worst in you. They were bringing out your stress. They were um, blocking you from true love and abundance and happiness. There, you might have to do some healing and cleansing and uncrossing and chakra work to get rid of this energy. Once you cut them out, too, you might want to cut the cords as well. Look into uh, cut and clear and cord cutting rituals. Um, to cut and clear this energy once you you get away from them because it's like this energy that was just weighing you down It was a very heavy energy a very serious energy and you're like, no, I don't really want that anymore. I'm good um, With the moon You're using your intuition. You're looking away from this energy. You're like, I'm gonna be intuitive. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep um Listening to this person that presents themselves like a real man when when their actions and their words and behavior tell me that he's actually a pussy, you know it's that kind of energy where you're like, okay, you're you're you know talk is cheap. Like you keep saying you can do this and this and that, but you're not doing anything. Um, and you and you're you're finally setting those boundaries and cutting this person out and listening to your intuition. And um, your intuition is telling you that it's time to let the person go. Your intuition is, it's the Five of Cups and your, you know, that ship is sailing away, but she's not going after it. She's like, you know what? I'm a beautiful mermaid. I don't need to go after that ship. I'm good on my rock. I'm just chilling. I'm happy. I'm good. I need, it might hurt at first, but I need to let this go. I need to be with somebody who's actually going to match me and actually going to be there for me and actually going to be, you know, the kind of man that, that I need. And I think with this person, it's like, you kind of wanted to change them. You wanted them to be better. You wanted them to be this and that, but they weren't. Like, they just weren't that person for you, you know? Um, Starfire, stop, stop, stop. Oh, my God, sorry. My cat was insisting that he needs catnip right now. Um, <laughs> he's getting into shit. Sorry. <laughs> you can wait, like, five minutes. Five, ten minutes for me to give you catnip. It's not going to kill you. Um, so, sorry. Five of cups. So, you're yeah, you're watching this ship go sail away. But you're not chasing it. You don't want it. You're like you're using your intuition, and your intuition is telling you that this might this might hurt. This might be hard at first, but this is what you need to do. You know, especially the case of somebody like cheated on you, or they did something stupid, and you're just it's like your intuition has been telling you this person isn't good for you. Like you've been having those like aha moments, like these epiphanies where you're like, "Ooh, did he really just say that? Did he really just do that? Is he really?" Really? Like, is that really the person I want to be with? Is that really the person I'm dating or trying to date? You know, like your intuition has been screaming at you and you're finally listening to it and you're letting this person go. And, you know, it's a tower moment for you where it's like this shakeup where it's just like this, like, you know, metaphorical death and rebirth where, um, you know, it is you're, you're going to there's going to be mixed emotions. There's going to be ups and downs. You're going to regret the time and the energy you wasted with this person for a while. Um but the tower had to come in and you're going to understand that when it comes in, when this tower comes in for you, I think that you're going to get it. I think that you're going to be happy. It came in for you. I think that you're going to be relieved that you're finally getting out of this stagnant energy and letting go of the dead weight. And, um, you know, things are just being shaken up, but it's, it's again, it's like a purging process. Like it's going to make you happy. You're going to be like, okay, wow. Things are finally moving one way or another. Um,
So let's see. So what comes next in your life after you let go of that energy? What comes next for you? You know, again, it's a purging process. You need to, like, you really need to do some chakra clearing. You need to get rid of that energy, and you, you're going to need to um, uh, cut some cords, probably. You're going to need to cut some cords because this person, this energy is leachy, so you need to cut cords. All right, so for my viewers, what is the next phase of your life? So I do feel new love coming in after that. So I think you, I think you learned from this past relationship what you don't want. Um, so what is the next phase of your life after this? So the Queen of Swords. See, you're like the queen of swords. You're being like logical and grounded and strong and stable. And you're letting this go even though it's hard for you. You're doing what's right for you. You know, like your intuition has been screaming at you that this person isn't good for you. And you're finally listening to your intuition. And you're finally standing up for yourself and setting boundaries and cutting these toxic people out of your life. And you're in your queen of swords energy where you're just, you're powerful and you're strong and you're confident and you love yourself and you're putting yourself first for a change and you're moving forward with your life with the chariot you know things are going to move forward quickly for you after you get rid of this energy and it's like the darkness um or the, the light after the darkness you know the dawn basically is is that kind of energy where it's like the light comes out you've been in this dark period maybe doing shadow work or just being stuck with this person just stagnant just not happy not being your complete self and you're coming out of this this you're coming out of that energy very strong with the Queen of Swords and the Chariot. That's that's your energy, the Queen of Swords and the Chariot that you're gonna be you're gonna be coming into, um, moving forward, and you're gonna finally have you know financial abundance and stability, and you're gonna make better judgment calls in the future too when it comes to people. I think you, you like I said, you learned what you didn't want, and. When you're ready, you're going to be planting these seeds for a new person to come in, for new love to come in. You're going to have hope again. You're going to um, take the lessons from that past relationship, and you're going to be planting these seeds and manifesting love into your life. And yeah, you do. You have the the hierophant coming in, actually. I think I think this means a few different things. I think there might be somebody that's blonde for a couple of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, it might be somebody that's blonde. Um. I think this is just a more stable person and a more stable energy. <clears throat> I kind of feel like like your guides are going to be leading you to the right person with a star on the hierophant. Your spirit guides are going to be leading you to somebody that's much better for you. And I think you're going to be wiser this time around and you're going to be more stable and you're going to set boundaries right off the bat. You're not going to let the relationship move too quickly. You're going to make sure that you're setting boundaries just from the get-go. You know, you're not going to let them, like, mess with your energy again like they did in the past. So really quick, can you tell me about this person that's coming in? Can you tell me about this new person? Can you tell me about them? I go through some denial at first it might be kind of hard um letting go of the past but you're going to do it and you're you're going to get out of that d denial and you're going to be an individual you're going to be your true self you're going to you're going to put yourself first and you're going to be again you're in your power you're strong and confident and hmm, we have forbidden and we have message I almost feel, I kind of feel like the Forbidden card is saying your guides want you to focus on yourself right now more. They want you to put yourself first and they want you to develop like bound, like stronger boundaries and confidence. And so it's kind of like off limits where they're not going to completely tell you about how this person right now. Hopefully next reading I do, which is going to be like late this month or early next month, um, we'll get some more information and you'll be through this energy more and have let go of this, this toxic person and be moving on and, and focusing on yourself and manifesting true love. You know, your actual king of, of cups or swords or whoever you want. Um, but you are in your power. You're coming into your power for sure. And your guides are leading you through this. They're protecting you and guiding you right now. 
Um, but you do, you know, they do want you, even though they're not giving you a complete care, clarification on who this person is, um, they are letting you know, like, a message is coming in, you know, like, like that love is coming in for you. It's just, you got to get through this phase first, basically. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good reading overall. I hope that resonated with you guys. Please let me know what you think. Um, like, share, subscribe. You know, if this resonates, subscribe to me. Please, thank you. Have a good day, everybody.